We got the exact second round that I predicted here. Welcome to the first series preview of the second round. This is recorded actually the same date. Um, well, th- uh, tomorrow is um, what you call tomorrow is Game Five between Edmonton and LA. So, whichever this that that whichever that series review comes out, if that series review ends or that series ends, then I'll post a series review and I'm going to record this directly after it because I was going to record this the day before. But I thought, I have more time today, so I'll do it today. And so, um, this is going to be pre-recorded, essentially. But Rangers and Hurricanes is the only series done as I record this. Uh, Number one in the league, number one in the Metro, President's Trophy winner, versus number two in the Metro, number three in the league. So, Rangers, Hurricanes. These two teams have met before, and they have met recently. In 2020, they played each other in the qualifying round. A lot of people had the Rangers beating the Hurricanes that year because of the regular season where the Rangers swept them. Her- Hurricanes had no issue. That was Lundqvist's last uh, series he ever played, last games he ever played. Carolina swept them in three. Uh, Carolina was the sixth seed that year. The Rangers were the 11th seed. So Carolina was the only one to sweep the qualifying round. The Rangers were the only team- playoff team to not win a game. Uh, this season, Rangers have swept the Capitals, a team that should not have been in the playoffs, in four straight. To get to the second round, Hurricanes beat another team that should never have been in the playoffs, the New York Islanders, in five. So the Hurricanes, they've gone through Long Island, now they got to go to Manhattan and defeat the Rangers. Don't have to go to Buffalo to beat the Sabres, because they're not in it. For the Rangers, um, they're taking a trip out southeast. They beat the Hurricanes, they beat the, or they beat the Capitals. If they beat the Hurricanes, then they get to play the winner of Florida and whoever that's Toronto or Boston. If it'd be something if it was Tampa too, that, that, that he has to go to Florida as well, then you're just going out all southeast. These teams met three times this year. In New York on November second, twenty twenty three, the Rangers won two to one, so they went at home. On January second, twenty twenty four, Carolina wins six to one at home. So each team's won at home and the Rangers won at home again on March twelfth, twenty twenty four. Once again in New York, as they win one to nothing. These teams can play very defensively. These teams are very good. There's a reason they're two of the top teams in the league. Let's look at their top scores in the first round. These are pulled from the top 50 point scores of the first round. So when uh, Rangers finished their series, they were the first series done. So they were also the first series to four games, I believe. So that's why they had a lot more in the series review than the series preview. Sabanajan in four games had one goal, six assists, seven points. Trocek had three goals, three assists, six points. Um, Roslovic, two goals, two assists, four points. For the Hurricanes, they had a lot more in the top 50. For Jarvis, five games, three goals, four assists, seven points. He's been a stud and a standout. Shveshnikov, one goal, four assists, five points. Natius, one goal, four assists, five points. Shea, one of my personal favorite players. Zero goals, five assists, five points. Kuznetsov, whose Rangers beat his former team, Two goals, two assists, four points. And Teravine in two goals, two assists, four points. For goaltending, both have been stellar. Shesterkin, 4-0 with a 931 save percentage in the first round. 2022 Shesty is back. Anderson, 4-1 with a 912 save percentage. It's going to be a very, I honestly think possibly low, it could be low scoring, could be defensive, but we could also have a game or two in there that's kind of a shootout. You never know. Is, I think it's going to be a much longer series as these two teams um, know each other quite well. Um, and just look at them on paper. They're kind of like looking at each other in the mirror. Great goaltending, great defense, great forward groups. Their talent up and down the lineup. This is going to be a great series. And of course, in my bracket, I had the Rangers over Carolina. I'm still going to take that. I'm not wearing my Rangers jersey right now because I'm um, still a little sick. And I know I was wearing it for the reviews, but... I also just don't want to go, I, I, just in case. I'm also like, I got tissues in my hands and my nose is running. I don't want to like mess up the jersey or anything. But um, yeah, I'm still going to take the Rangers. I believe I had them winning in seven, if I remember the bracket correctly. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that's going to be all I have for you guys in this preview. Tell me down below who you think is going to win the series. We've had two series before. One team has won each. Someone's going to take the lead in the series in the, the series history of this of these two teams. So who is it going to be, the Rangers or the Hurricanes? Let me down. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.